Bridget. Hello, YouTube. Have you been my guinea pig today? I have been the guinea pig. It's been a happy guinea pig time, though. Yeah, it's yeah. been a happy guinea pig time. Yeah. Um, so anyway, so uh, what have you been testing? You've been testing my new seeds, right? Yeah, what are, what are those called? I call them a cumanimanimin. Cumanimanimin? Yeah, because I can't pronounce it. Yeah. <laughs> I can't either. I'm not even to try. The name will be in, up there in the title, mm -hmm. okay? And, and it'll be in the description. Mm -hmm. So these are seeds that uh, that you grind and they're um, a natural pain medicine. Mm -hmm. And I used to use Kratom for a natural pain and medicine and also I used the green, I use the red very rarely. I mean, it's like maybe a couple times a year if I, my back really started hurting me. But predominantly, I use the green for my nerves. Hmm. In my older years, you know, I had that time where I really had trouble with my nerves. Yes, yes. And you remember that? Yes. And I didn't leave the, I didn't leave the house. Yeah, she cohabitated with her chair. That's right, I cohabitated <laughs> with my chair. And uh, so anyway, so what you, and so anyway, so, so a lot of people are red kratom users and it's now for pain and, and it's now illegal in the state of Alabama because Alabama is stupid. Okay? Yeah. All right. <laughs> so, so anyway, <coughs> we're going to show you how to do this, but Poo Tap is going to have to come down. Oh, I know. She thinks she owns the place. And, and, and so what, uh, so what we're doing here is just for our use, right? Just for us. And I'm gonna wash my hands before I get back in my seats. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. And touch anything. So get the, uh, this right here is gel, ooh, 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 is gel caps. And this is our grinder. The magic bullet. And our scale. Mm -hmm. And our bowl. And that's what we're gonna use. So I'm gonna go wash my hands and you're gonna wash your hands. Yep. Since we've been playing with the cat. Yeah, I've been sitting here petting the cat. Yeah, and we we're bad. She was hamming it up. Yeah, and we we're bad. And we're gonna wash our hands, and then wash we're gonna hands. do this. Yep. Okay. Let's get busy. Okay. So we've cleaned ourselves up. Yeah, clean hands. Okay. So we have our bullet uh, container, and this blade is powdery, but that's because this is what we use only for that. So now I'm gonna hit the tear. And tear it out. And now you took full uh, four capsules. Mm hmm. And uh, put, put them in here. Um, that's the four capsules we, I let, uh, that we she did up. And and she really, this one here is not full. It, uh, you could have gotten a little bit more powder in these. Just a little bit. Yeah, she didn't get them completely full. So it's really not four completely full capsules, they're three-fourths full. Yeah. Okay, all right. Well, I didn't feel the lid and the bottom. Right, so for what she considered a Laura Tab 10, because mm -hmm. Bridget has a... Um, I have a bulge disc that is uh, pressing on my nerves and uh, on my spinal cord. Uh -huh. And it causes stenotosis in my hands and feet. And I felt three nights ago. You, and that really made it mad. It made it very mad. I <laughs> slipped off the off the bed on my back, uh -huh. and uh, and that made it really really mad. But mm -hmm. it's your time of the month, and yes. so the and kind I, of pain medicine that they have you on right now causes ex extreme bleeding. Yes. So she can't take her regular pain medicine. Yeah. So she ca days. so she came to Mama and said, Mama, can you help me? And I was like, Well, we got these new seeds in. Yes. So a lower tab 10 for Bridget, and not to say that this is the same for everybody. Oh, the scale does this every now and then. Oh, it's not level. Okay, let's, uh, let's tear it again. If it's not level, it screws up. Okay, so that's point one. Did I do point two? You did, but that's part of it right there. Let's yeah. see. And I like to do it. Okay, so um, with these scales here, so that right there is point one. And um, I like to see it move up to point two and make sure it's working and then pull out and go back. 
Yep. And then you just put it in your bullet and you grind it. This is going to be loud, guys. Have you got your volume turned down? That's enough, but it ain't. <laughs> Can you hear the little tick, tick, tick in there? Okay, so now we're gonna check it. That was loud too. Yeah, and it tastes bad right now. Wait yes. for it, wait for it. Get it on your tongue yet? Oh, now usually, I usually, oh yeah, usually I'm doing an ounce for somebody. But anyway, yeah. this is just points, so. Uh, a lot of people just uh, put this on a piece of paper like a goodie powder. Mm. And just chunk it down their throat with some with some flavored beverage. I recommend you don't use soda. It's carbonated and it'll push it up in your nose. <laughs> and you know they said that people snorted kratom. Well, I'm gonna just tell you right now. If you snort an herb up under you, up in your nose, be prepared to go up in there and get it back out. <laughs> it burns. And it hurts like crazy. And <laughs> and it don't absorb into the nasal passages. <laughs> Mm -mm. It's not. It's it, it's like taking and putting spaghetti up in your nose. You, I mean, you put a food matter up in your nose. You know, these things that people snort have been created to dissolve, and they become a liquid. I think because I have no idea how that works. I don't like, either, really. Lord. But I mean, I know that but, there's things people snort up their nose, and I ain't never seen them have to get in a bobby pin and rake it back out. <laughs> but I'm just telling you, if you snort an herb up 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 in your nose, be prepared to go back and get it. <laughs> Yeah. And it hurts. It don't feel good. <laughs> Didn't that accidentally happen to want to somebody? Yes, the they, they put it on their little powder and they put it in their mouth and right when they was fixing to take a drink, they sucked in air and, and, and oh no, they exhaled and they breathed by accident because they were preparing to take a drink and they forgot what they were doing and <laughs> the powder was coming out of the nose and they were not happy and it <laughs> hurt really bad. Okay. So anyway, I can imagine. So now your powder mm -hmm. is inside this little cup, and so you take your capsules, and this is zero zero capsules. They come in different sizes, and point one should go into four capsules. Yeah. Okay. And you just take your little capsule apart, and you scoop, mm -hmm. scoop, scoop, and. Um, and then you put your cap on and you push your cap all the way down. And it may be that just after it settles, you know, the air settles, it reduces. Oh, that's what it is. My caps are not all the way down. Oh, that's what it is. Your caps are not all the way down. I noticed when you did that, I was like, hey, wait a minute. Mine didn't do that. Uh huh. So you scoop. I don't use capsules. Scoop. And, 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 and depending on how much you scoop, it might take you, uh -huh. it might take you more Good. time. Does that look better now, Mom? Uh-huh. Yeah. Where's the one that wasn't full? Uh... Yeah, you had like four, five, you had eight and a half or something. It was yeah. A... I think it's this one here. Yeah. Okay. So once you get it full, then you put your... Okay. And... It gets everywhere, mm -hmm. if you allow it. So we'll go ahead and fill that one up okay. while we're at it. We'll see if we have enough for our four capsules after we lost that little bit. And the caps can get away from you, can't they? Yes. Yeah, the caps can get away from you. The cap got away from me earlier. I'd never put capsules together before. Yeah. And I was trying to get it on there and it went, it was gone. It run away. I heard it hit the floor and go hee 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 as it skittered away. <laughs> Alright, so I've got three capsules made so far with this point one. 
Looks like you might actually get two or three more out of there. Am I a better capsulator or what? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Doing good though. I'm doing good. Do you have any <laughs> like that? <laughs> <laughs> it's gone. It's gone, Mom. Oh, just mourn its loss. <laughs> <laughs> oh, go. Here, pull that cap off. I never did. Don't <laughs> lose it. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. <laughs> Okay, it's that rounded in, and they're slippery. And they're just... okay, so there's four capsules. So, and I think there's enough in there to do two more, maybe. Yeah. Now you'll see there'll be some leaves, depending on what kind of grinder you use, that didn't get completely ground up. And if you don't get all the leaf in this capsule, that's cool. It doesn't matter. Mine. I've started dropping it down the bowl. <laughs> Look, it's still trying to get away. I know. Your fingers are so slippery with this powder. Okay, so point one has got us one, two, three, four, five so far. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, that's the one that lost its lost its bottom. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, so you were, you had described your pain as burning, didn't you? Yeah, mine, mine, I have a lot of inflammation and so it burns and, and kind of, it's kind of like a stretching, tearing kind of burn. It hurts. Uh, I hate it. Are you hurting it. at all now? No, I'm not. And that is most awesome. Uh-huh. I have not been able to not hurt in a very long time. Okay, so four capsules is a dosage. Mm -hmm. And uh, so here is four capsules and here is four capsules. So we need to make you up enough for one more dose and let you try taking this for a while yes. and see how you like it. Mm -hmm. so, so we've got a, a I think a one, two, a one medium and one small seed ought to be enough to get you that last uh, one. And so we'll do that. And uh, we have these seeds here um, at the um, here at the Cornerstone Market available for sale. Um, and let me show you a couple other things we sell. this Cordy Dallas but I'll just put it up there where you can see it all right and this is a powder that's uh, for mild pain relief I don't think it would work no yeah yeah it, it, uh, this is for average to mild what you would go and get you a Tylenol or an Aleve or something like that yeah. and this is a powder and it's pleasant enough it just tastes like a ground leaf it's pleasant enough that I can put this on a BC powder paper, like just make a folded piece of paper and just put it in the back of my throat and just chug it. But Not you me. can encapsulate mm -hmm. it as well. Um, this is $9 an ounce. You do get more capsules out of it than you do this because it's a ground, it's a finer ground powder. Okay, so you get more for your money in a way. And then we sell, I call this maca, M-A-C-A. This is black maca. And this is red maca, and this is an energy, um, an energy, and when you mix the acuma seeds with this, um, it's very similar to yellow and red kratom blended together. Um, <coughs> by itself, um, it is a powerful energy, but it doesn't give you the jumpies and you don't come down and get wired. Uh, you don't have heart palpitations like when you do too much caffeine. Mm. But if you take more than you're supposed to, you're gonna be spinning. 
Okay, you're gonna be spinning around doing, you know, cleaning all the cobwebs out of every room in the house three or four times. So you have to be careful not to take too much. I take a half of a teaspoon and I have enough energy for all day to just feel great and I'm ready to go. And I don't have any, I'm, a, I'm very sensitive to caffeine. I have no issues whatsoever at all. Found out I am too. Are you? Mm -hmm. I, you know, uh, caffeine and me don't work. I get heart palpitations. I get to talking a mile a minute, and I already talk really fast as it is. And uh, mm -hmm. I get to spinning, and and then I I can have you know chest pains if I do too much. Uh, matter of fact, one time I thought I was having a heart attack, and really I'd been drinking really strong Turkish tea. <laughs> and I thought I was drinking herbal tea. I didn't realize it was a blood, that it actually was tea tea with caffeine in it. Okay, so anyway, so this is maca. Uh, this is a great energy. Most people put it in their smoothies. It's sort of not, it's sort of like not like peanut butter, but you know how like you'll get something in your mouth and you have to sort of work. It, it's like it'll get between your teeth and mm -hmm. you know and stuff like that. But it's very pleasant tasting. And we sell this here at the at the market. I can't remember how much it is. And you don't have it marked on there, do you? I know. <laughs> I think it's like seven dollars an ounce, but I can't remember. And um, um, but it has a side effect. Uh, the men can only use the black, and the ladies can only use the red. Uh, along with energy, if used on a regular basis, it increases libido, which is desire for sexual contact. Uh, with the black one, it does the same thing for men, but with regular use it counteracts many ED symptoms and that's where the blood flow travels up into that particular part of the body and then won't stay or it won't travel up in there at all and what this does the side effect is is that it when the blood does go up in there it, it causes it to stay the body becomes able to keep an erection uh, for men uh, some young men who have tried this have had some unexpected problems at work yeah and don't, don't give none to michael please <laughs> <laughs> and so mm. they come back and bought more so they weren't too upset about that um because i give michael that chance i, I think that it, there was a possibility that it increased certain things yeah. otherwise that, i don't see why they'd want to come back and get more of it if it was so bothersome right yeah okay you so know, anyway you know. so this maca stuff's good stuff i love it uh, but I have natural energy. I very rarely need this. Yeah. Because I go 24-7. So anyway. You're like the Energizer Bunny. I'm like the Energizer Bunny. That's like that's how come whenever I had problems with my nerves closed down and hid in my house, everybody was like, what in the world? Mama is not out doing stuff and, and saving us all from our recent peril, right? Yeah, I kind of enjoyed it though because I had you right there and I could get to you anytime I needed you. you <laughs> right I, was, I was in the freaking recliner? Right yeah, you was oh in the like, like I didn't have to go, hmm, I wonder what mama's doing today. I knew where she was. She was reading a book or playing on Facebook. <laughs> That's what I'd play. I'd play Farmville, wouldn't I? Uh-huh, yeah, it was farm. It's, mm -hmm. Oh gosh, okay. I can't remember the name of them now. Frontierville. Mm -hmm. and, and this is a maca root. Uh, that looks like, and like it the radish is, at the store. Is a means of normalizing our steroid hormones like testosterone, progesterone, and estrogen. Therefore, it has facility to forestall the hormonal changes of aging. I may want some of that. <laughs> it's very useful for treating libido, menopausal symptoms, and general fatigue. Yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna, we're going to encapsulate me some of that. You can take this without encapsulation. No, I can't. Do you want to try right here on the on the YouTube? No, they don't want to see me throw up. Mm -mm. Oh, come on. No, I, th I think they want to wanna see if you like it. No, I tell you what, just put your hand one. out. Oh, wrong one. You cannot give this to the, the wrong color to the wrong sexual person. Mm -mm, I can't. Do we it. must give the right color to you. Smell. It smells good. No, it don't. No, no. Mm -mm, mm -mm. It tastes like candy. No. Let me. Let, I've tried your herb thingies before. Took it like a BC powder. Yeah. <laughs> get the tongue, and then with. No. Well, I just want you to taste a little bit of it. I'm just saying a little. Like, not I trying to dab my. I will dab my finger in it and lick my finger, and that's all I'm doing. 
Yeah, and I've got you some water in case you start dying or anything. I okay, my battery died. I took a... Um, I had to put it on charge. I took a tension headache pill the other day because I had a migraine and it wouldn't go away. And I was like at the store where they didn't label things very well. Mm -hmm. It was Tylenol and I just grabbed a box and got home and I took it to... I thought I was going to die. What'd you take? It was a tension headache, which means it had Tylenol and caffeine. Oh. I thought I was going to die, Mom. Did you know that... No, that's it. That's good. That's good. Did you know that several people die of, ca of, of Tylenol poisoning every year? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a fun day because I took two doses of it before I realized that was what was causing it. Oh. <laughs> now, just lick that off your, uh, off your uh -huh. hand. Mm. Just attempt it. I will attempt a small portion. She's very Ooh. finicky. I am. I get it from my daddy. Yeah. Kind Mama of knows. Yeah, kind of bitter. No, that's sweet. Well, I mean, it has the sweet, but it has that bittery taste too. No, it does not. Yes, it does. I take this. I take this before. But it it's not a sweet it's, root. It's not horrible, though. I mean, it okay. Is well, not see if horrible. you can lick all of it off your fan, off your hand. Oh gosh. Yeah. Now, could you take that uncapsulated? Depends on how much I have to take at a time. Uh huh. But it wasn't horrible, but it does leave a funny taste. Well, if somebody has been like a, a two, um, I know I found it. I smushed it before I even realized what I'd done. <laughs> anyway, if somebody was a, t like a, a Red Bull person and a energy shot person and drank caffeine all day long, so it, they've got a really high tolerance to things that make you go, you know, make you hi uh, hyper. Uh, you know, like yeah, no, and stuff. I'm not and this is not to make you hyper. This is to make you have energy and feel like going and doing without making you feel crazy. Yeah, see, I need that. I need the going and the doing. Uh huh. And um, then they would take possibly up to two tablespoons. Mm. But this one lady, she put a tablespoon in hers, but she was a really small person. She looked like she was about five foot nothing and real skinny. Mm. And she said that she spun around so hard that. She didn't think she'd ever go to bed. It was like 4 o'clock the next morning before she went to sleep. Dang. But she said, I didn't feel bad. I just felt like I needed to get up and go do stuff. You yeah. know? She said, there wasn't no sleeping going happening. That's for sure. Yeah. So, I took a fourth of a teaspoon. So, I think a fourth of a teaspoon. Yeah. And I, I'm going to encapsulate to, to just to be on the safe side. Let's see. Well, oh, we haven't finished that yet, so we got to finish that yet. All right, then I'll give you some and let you encapsulate it. Yes, and I'll take it with this. But you take that in the morning because it's yes. too late in the day. It might keep you up. Yeah, I don't want to do that. All right, so mm -hmm. I call these the Kimi Kimi seeds, but I will put the proper name for them on um, on the in the description. Yes. Uh, it might not be in the title. And and then this is maca. There's red and black, and then this is a coriolis. And I had somebody in chronic pain take this, and they said it was like they took a couple of Tylenols. Mm. They said it like it helped for a short period of time for the chronic pain, and then like 15, 30 minutes later, they were hurting again. Yeah, it takes so, me like a thousand milligrams to do anything. Yeah, so this right here it's is for headaches, uh, light pain. Mm. You know, you've twisted your ankle. You know, you've you know, it's not for chronic pain. Yeah. Okay. All right, but it's better than taking a Tylenol. Mm -hmm. People die of Tylenol every year. It's horrible. Yeah. I don't like these doctor's medicines. I like nature. Yeah. Okay, so anyway. All right, so this is your substitute for Kratom for natural pain. If you were a Kratom user, if you were a red Kratom user, if you were a red and yellow mixed Kratom user, then put these two together. And, uh, uh, but if you're still in a state that you can use Kratom, <laughs> He's Kratom. <laughs> you lucky it's dog. awesome stuff. <laughs> and it's great for addictions. Uh, if anybody has like problems with addiction, um, it is so awesome. It'll keep you off of the substances that have destroyed your world. It'll keep you off of drugs. I've even had alcoholics buy it and they quit being alcoholics. As long as they had that, they didn't desire to drink. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they gave me big hugs. Yep. So anyway, all right guys. So, uh, 
I'm going to open up a channel for Kratom education and also uh, to talk about um, natural herbs and things that help us in, and, and so that you'll know about it. So you can check that out. I'm going to try to name it um, uh, Kratom Education, um, but I may name it Kratom and Other Herb Education. Yeah. We'll see. Okay? Mm -hmm. High five? High five. So you're not hurting? I'm not hurting. I could go home and lay down and take a nap. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Like, and you've I don't... been hurting so bad you couldn't sleep? Yes. I have been tossing and turning for like three days. Getting maybe, maybe two hours of good sleep right when I fall asleep and then... Up in pain. Up in pain. Do you try it. a heating pad? Yes. But a heating pad don't always work. And okay. I don't want to cook my back. And you can do that. Oh, don't even oh. say this. Yes. All right. Yes. Uh, you bye, can. everybody. And I'll try to put a link uh, on here showing you how to get to the other channel as soon as I create it. So you may watch this video, and that link is not there yet because I've not created it. Bye. bye. Hello, YouTube land. All right. We thought we would add this to the end. You, you've been helping me around the store, but you've been taking it really easy. Yeah. Yeah, just sitting in a roll around chair mm -hmm. and getting up here and there, mm -hmm. stirring one or two pots, but real lightly, not doing too much effort, right? Yeah, not, nothing strenuous. But you couldn't have done that at all if it had been for the pain medicine. No, no not at all. Okay. No. All right. And uh, how have you been? I would have been sitting in a chair going, I can't do that. <laughs> okay. Uh, four and a half hours? Mm hmm. No, right at four out. Yeah, four and a half. Yeah, yeah it's been yeah, four, four and a half, half hours. And you said you were starting to feel just some minor twinges. Yeah, just in some your minor pain. twinges. So this could be easily a four to six hour dose for you? Yeah. All mm -hmm. right. I think with adding one more capsule, I could probably make it six hours, no problem. Okay. Unless so I that would like be five really capsules. And that was what people told me was a standard dose. Mm -hmm. They said an extreme dose was 10 capsules. Yeah, I wouldn't need that many. Yeah, so five. Not unless I was like in a car wreck or something. <laughs> yeah, but five capsules. Mm -hmm. and, uh, five capsules, zero, zero size. Yep. That's a gelatin capsule, zero, zero size. Uh, with the seeds ground, mm -hmm. yep. you took four, yep. and you think you will go, you're at four hours, you started having some minor twinges, mm -hmm. but you could still function. Yeah function you're not in this extreme pain no it's just a little twinge here and there you know, so you like, might make it to six hours with just the four tap capsules you took yeah i might i might i'll let you know tomorrow okay or later tonight. all right okay all right so because i'll have to what do you think about these now. this natural alternative i like it okay I, like it. I have not felt any after effects you know if you take over-the-counter pain medicine or even stuff you get from the doctor you have a lot of side effects and issues with being sleepy or groggy or itching, dry mouth. It's crazy. Or you can't drive. Or you or can't you drive. Feel, yeah. Yeah. Or, or euphoria, mm -hmm. uh, dizziness. And it's just pain's gone. Nothing else. That's it. That's it. Okay. But do know that this is a natural product, so it could affect other people in a different way. Yeah. And for me, I'm very sensitive to things like this. Mm -hmm. So probably two capsules is all it would take for me. Yeah. And so anyone should start slow. But I felt like four was slow for you because of how chronic your pain is. Um, so we'll just have to see how that goes for everybody else. So I'm going to start selling these on my website. Uh, they will. Uh, I, I'm concerned about selling them pre-ground um, because I'm afraid they'll dry out and they'll lose their potency. Yeah. And so I'm, I think I'm going to sell them whole and let people grind them themselves. Well, most people have a blender. Yeah, and a blender. My blender could cake could easily grind them up, no problem. Yeah, it wouldn't be an issue. Uh, I have one of those old school. Yeah, you know, nineteen eighties machines. <laughs> yeah. So I'm probably going to sell those for about ten bucks an ounce. The shipping on them will be reasonable. Um, we'll just have to see how that goes. And that's that's good. That's good. Yeah. I mean, it's not bad. Yeah. Most people may pay more than that when they go visit their doctor. Yeah. I'm going to have to add a lot, some shipping costs. Here I sell them for $8 an ounce. I might be able to get away with just $9 an ounce. I'll have to look at what the packaging is going to entail. 
and and what it's going to take to get them out the door you know shipped and everything mm -hmm. so it's going to be around nine or ten dollars an ounce most likely i think that's right i'm charging eight for them yeah yep. okay all right say bye to youtube bye youtube oh the soap's done too ain't it yes it is it's it so smells, pretty it smells so good My nose is